Honestly, even though they spend so much money on this park, I can just tell and nobody comes here. It's probably a good thing because if more people came here, I feel like there'd be a lot more fatalities. Hey, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. So right now, um, we have a special surprise for you guys because this is one of the biggest but worst skate parks I have ever seen. I've been here once in my life and there's a reason for that. It's only been once. So it looks like pretty decent from the outside. Like it doesn't look like anything horrible. But once you take a closer look, you understand that there's like seriously something wrong with whoever put this together. The whole thing is made of concrete. I think there's a total of two ledges, which are literally over here. Let me show you. That's a ledge and then that's a ledge. That's the only thing that's not a ramp at this entire park. Like the entire park, there's only two ledges. There's no rails, nothing. You really can't even consider the coping here coping because you'll see it's just so awful this is probably in the millions when it comes to production for a skate park like this and nobody freaking comes here absolutely no one and there's a reason for that so this ledge and that ledge are the only things that actually sort of make sense except for the fact that the run-up to this one is terrible and i mean this one's not bad this is the only thing that hasn't lost brain cells of this whole place i drove an hour and like 10 minutes to get here yes an hour and 10 minutes of my life to ride this park it's called lancaster county skate park so the amount of trash cans which is one and two over here is the exact same amount of ledges at an entire skate park that should tell you enough it's interesting to describe this because it's not really like it doesn't flow that great it's kind of like a pump track bowl thing but there's random obstacles in the middle like if you were a beginner type of athlete riding a scooter skateboard or bmx i would not recommend coming here because none of the stuff is consistent like it's supposed to be like for example look this is a quarter pipe right no that might be an eighth of a pipe like it's legitimately a bank with coping right right so around there and then if you keep going this way it changes like what, what is going on and it goes even steeper and steeper and steeper and then there's this weird like a-frame thing that's mellow here but really steep here then basically we got a vertical quarter pipe with no coping and it all lines up starting from back here so you got to come down here and you can either go left or right so a big pocket or a small pocket and then there's a spine in the middle which let me get to that in a sec because that thing is even worse they've already clearly bamboozled this part like this part it's not even like a consistent in shape the concrete looks terrible and ready this coping isn't even circle this is flat regular coping what the heck type of coping like what it goes the whole way i mean obviously nobody wants to ride this because this is just gonna smack your wheel and then you're gonna face plant to the other side i guess you could ride it on a bike but like why would you want to because like the, the run-up is terrible it's small to big and then this is like the worst transition you've ever seen like it's straight and then it curves and then it's straight and then it curves again and then this quarter is just death anyway let me show you like listen if you're if you're into having a heart attack while you ride a spine this might be your thing but if you're not and you just want to ride the spine this is not going to be fun from here it almost looks like a bank like it literally looks like a super steep bank and then this this is the most confusing quarter like what is happening down here i don't know if you can tell but there's a bump in that so if you go down the spine right here you're gonna hit some really janky and weird setup but then this this is not a normal this thing is steep as heck and then there's a weird hip that got integrated in then there's a weird hip right here that got integrated like look at this what if this looks so wrong like why is that here but you can tell like this is not that's a sketchy freaking quarter pipe and there's another there's like three bumps one here one here and then one down there and if you come right here this is uh it looks like a quarter pipe right no that's a wall this is a super steep bank with barely any transition like are you seeing this that's where it starts and that's where it ends it should start like back here yeah you can really tell now like look at that that's awful it doesn't even look bad but it's so sketchy to the point where they got the park rangers driving in the grass He's not even following the road. Okay, so you see this side, it's pretty awful. There's got another little A-frame hip thing in the middle. And then this is the gnarly part. I'm gonna say the deep end is probably 12 feet deep. 12, 12, not 10, 12. Like if you're interested in actually dropping off of a building, this is probably where you wanna be. Look at this, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's horrifying. Now this is why it's horrifying, not because it's big but because it's not built consistent. Like this looks normal, I'm telling you, it is not normal. It's really steep to really sharp. And to make it even crazier, there's a full pipe. Yeah, that, that's a complete full pipe. I don't think anybody's ever gone around that because like, where are you getting the speed with this sketchy freaking bowl? Look, I'm gonna put my scooter on the ground and you're gonna see how much freaking, how giant this bowl is compared to this. This side's even worse. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is just so steep. Bye bye scooter. That's my scooter. This is the ramp. Ain't that crazy? The coping's all weird. Like, what is going on? This should be a complete smooth piece of coping. No, it's not. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? I have to admit, the full pipe is cool. 
Like it very much echoes, but it's cool. Just look at the size of this. It's so massive. When you see me ride this, you're gonna understand. But now another thing you should know is this right here is steep. This right here is steep. But if you go to the very end, that is like a mellow bank. Like I'm gonna stand at the bottom of the transition on the right. That's where the quarter sits, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the left, right? Stand at the bottom of the transition on the right. That's where the quarter sits. If I stand at the bottom of the transition at the end, look at how far the quarter is. Like, it's so much farther. Honestly, if I was homeless, this would not be a bad place to go. Like, not at all. I wouldn't even second guess that. I'd be like, dang. All right. The last bit of this park is uh, the other end of the bowl, which is the smaller end, which isn't as crazy. Like it's not as messed up, but it's definitely not perfect. And I'm pretty sure the other end is a spine. I don't know what it is with the mellow quarters and then the steep quarters, but if you go too far over to this way, you're gonna end up on this death trap of a vert, whatever the heck this is. I just wanted to show you exactly what this park was made of before I actually wrote it. So you could literally understand how sketchy this place is. All right, I'm honestly kind of scared to ride this because uh, I, I just am. Like, I know the coping ain't gonna slide and I know the transition's gonna feel super strange, which is fine because the inside of this full pipe is probably the most consistent transition in the entire skateboard. See what I'm saying? Super mellow, extremely mellow, goes straight through here and then it's super mellow again. Like, dude, that is so weird. Then we go inside and it's just, oh, actually I lied when I said that earlier. The inside of this is not very, it's so bumpy. From up here, it doesn't look bad, but once you actually try and ride it, it's, that's awful. I actually think more people use this park to walk through it rather than actually ride it because there's a walk path here and then it ends there. That's exactly what that dude's doing. He's just will be walking past the skate park. He ain't touching it. Oh God. Oh goodness. Ugh. It's so mellow. Dude, it's so bumpy. Like there's like different transitions halfway up. Like it's flat and smooth and then it goes in again. I'm gonna go full speed at the big quarter on the other side. See if I can get enough speed to do anything out of this. Shoot, that's low key kind of fire. Like it is such a large quarter pipe. Like it's not even funny how massive that is. But it does seem like if I go super fast at it, it works just fine, which is crazy. And that was great. <laughs> Dude, that's so odd. Now I think about it, I wonder if somebody's actually ever attempted to go around that full loop. I don't think so. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try and flip the scooter around. See if it works out of this. Sorta. It's such a, it's like a long bank. So it's not like there's pop at all. See, that's easy. It's almost like, cause it's not super steep. It shoots you forward, but not too far forward like a bank, but it's also not straight up like a quarter pipe. So the impact is not that bad. Like no doubt, if you don't know how to ride scooters, skateboards or BMX good, this park will actually like, you're dead. Not gonna lie, the overheads are floaty on this. Like they are very floaty. Until I keep leaning far too back. Feels like I'm going too fast at first and I'm gonna overcook the heck out of it. But then when I get to the top, I realize, wait a second, I need to go a lot faster because it's so mellow. Like literally full speed at this quarter for a normal trick. See what I'm saying? It's like if I tried any flip tricks here, I, if I try to flare, it's, too, it's, like, it's like flaring a mellow bank. If I tried to straight flip, I feel like by the time I got to the top, I'd lose all my speed. That was the weirdest rotor whip I think I've ever tried. I mean, I would say if you got so much speed and jumped all the way off of this to flat, it's probably gonna feel like jumping like El Toro. Whip front time. That was the cleanest one I've done. I really don't want to touch this spine, but I feel like I should at least show you how daft it is. So it looks like a normal ball, but this side pretty steep. And then the spine is literally like a, dude, do you hear that? I know you could hear the bonk of the square coping. That's no. no. Truthfully, I think it would be less sketchy to precision ride across this entire thing. Cause it's square. So you don't have to like go in between two poles and drop off of this and go straight to flat. Cause there's no transition there. Honestly, even though they spent so much money on this park, I can just tell and nobody comes here. It's probably a good thing. Cause if more people came here, I feel like there'd be a lot more fatalities. It, it would just be bad and they'd have to shut it down. But like, then again, I don't even know how do you shut this down? Cause it's so deep into the ground. I'm not gonna lie. I am kind of enjoying this fly out just because you can go so fast. Dude, and you just go right into the grass. I'm trying to like angle it so I come out to the right a little so I can roll away. I can't imagine like skating this or like riding on rollerblades or even a BMX bike. I feel like the bike would be the sketchiest one. Whip, rewind, kickless. 
That was so sketchy. I hate that trick in general and not, not even in just fly out. I didn't feel that bad though. It's so odd though, because like I'm going at this quarter at like 30 miles an hour and by the time I get to the top, I'm going like five. Yeah, that was light work. Okay, whip to bar and then land fakey. So literally a 180 whip bar out of this massive quarter. Into the grass. Oh yeah, and it's wet. What am I thinking? I'm definitely not the finger whip type of guy, but I think I did the whip finger so easily. If I don't add a whip at the end, I'll be I'll be pretty upset. I should be able to do that just because there's so much time. Oh, I hit myself with the leg. Definitely a bit embarrassed to say this, but I think this is a new learn, which is not that great, but still. I reckon a little faster. Oh my. There it is. Let's go. Let me know in the comments. Would y'all come here even though it's like so goofy, but it's so giant, but it's still really goofy and that makes it so sketchy. But I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all next time. Later. <laughs>